We all live in the digital world. We all need it to be open and safe. We all want to trust. And to be trusted. We all despise control. And desire freedom. We, we are all united. united. Okay, well, hello everyone, and welcome to the IGF networking session titled Connecting Democracy and Internet Governance Advocates. For those of you that are participating online and also those of you that are on site in Katowice, welcome. We're absolutely delighted to have you here with us today. My name is Morgan Frost, and I'm a program officer at the Center for International Private Enterprise, or SIPE. And this session is organized by the Open Internet for Democracy Initiative, which is co-organized by my organization, SIPE, the National Democratic Institute, and the Center for International Media Assistance. The Open Internet for Democracy Initiative is a grassroots-driven initiative that really tries to connect democracy advocates, as well as economic reformers representing the local private sector, civil society, independent media, and a number of other human rights defenders, particularly across nascent, fragile, and declining democracies, to really counter the wave of efforts that restrict internet freedom, preserve an open and inclusive digital space, and also to defend digital rights. More information about our initiative and also the three organizations that I mentioned can be found in the Google document that's part of this session, and that should be linked in the Zoom chat as well. For those of you that are participating on site, you can locate that same Google document by visiting the IGF session website, and the link should be found in the description of our session. As efforts to restrict internet freedom become more sophisticated and easier to deploy, there has never been a more crucial time to connect defenders of democracy together to really brainstorm and examine how we can best collaborate with one another to really ensure that internet governance initiatives as well as digital rights advocacy projects more broadly really foster an open, inclusive, and democratic digital space. And that is exactly why we're here today. In a few moments, we will be breaking into small breakout group discussions. For those of you that are participating online, this will be done through the breakout group function in Zoom. We will have these breakout group discussions last approximately 10 minutes, and then this process will be replicated again. For those of you that are participating on site, we invite you to follow a similar format by dividing yourselves into small groups, or perhaps just one small group to really try and connect with one another. The opportunity is to try and connect with as many IGF participants as much as possible. In the Google document listed in the Zoom chat, you also notice these instructions are listed in the document. And we've also provided a list of guiding questions for you that you're welcome to use throughout the breakout group discussions. Once we've reached towards the end of the session, 10 minutes prior to the end of the session, we will all come back together for a brief group discussion and wrap up. So without further ado, I'd like to invite our IGF technical moderator to please divide us into small groups. We will, for those that are online, we will do five small groups, please, based on the number of participants. And for those that, of you that are on site, please feel free to divide yourselves into small groups. I hope everyone enjoys connecting with one another. And again, please reference the Google document listed in the Zoom chat, as well as the description of the IGF session for any connecting questions. Thank you, and we'll see you soon.
Thank you so much for joining us. I just posted the link to the Google document as well. Were you able to open that document? That is the same link as on as in the description, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. On. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Um, I can perhaps start as one of the facilitators of this session. So my name is Morgan.
Hello, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your first breakout group discussion. We will now transition into the second breakout group. In case you were not able to see the link to the Google document, it is listed here. I'll go ahead and put it again in the chat for everyone. Wonderful. I will now invite our technical moderator to please move us back into a new breakout group discussion. Thanks so much, everyone.
Hello again, everyone. I think we're being welcomed back from the second breakout group discussion. I'll just give everyone a minute to join us. Wonderful. I believe we are all back and we will proceed to one more breakout group discussion. I will kindly ask our IGF technical moderator to move us into newly assigned breakout groups with randomized composture of the different uh, participants in the online space. So please move us into new breakout group discussions. And then after this last breakout group discussion, we will come back together as a group. Thanks, everyone.
Hi, everyone. As it happens, I believe we actually do have time for one more additional breakout group discussion. I hope all the conversations have been going well and you have found them quite fruitful. I will now invite our IGF technical moderator to please uh, assign us into new breakout groups one final time and then we'll come back together. Thanks so much.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed this series of breakout group discussions. I will now pass things off to my colleague, Sarah Moulton from the National Democratic Institute to wrap up the discussion. Sarah, over to you. Thanks, Morgan, um, and thanks everybody for joining today. It was great to meet uh, several of you in the sessions we had, and actually this worked out, I think, a little bit better <laughs> than I was expecting, so that's great. Um, as Morgan mentioned, um, we have you know, this initiative that we really try to use as an opportunity um, to build community with everybody else working in the space and wanted to make sure that we invited you and that you knew how to you know, contribute or stay in touch with us. Um, a lot of our information is in the document again. I'm not sure if we wanna post that as well. And if you want to add any of your contact information in the chat, uh, we welcome that. I don't think you're able to add it to the document directly, but for others here, yeah, I see a lot of um, some LinkedIn uh, contact information. That's a great way to stay in touch. Um, and just, you know, for us on the initiative, we really do try to use it as an opportunity um, to connect with, with others. It can be very hard, especially now in the online space. Um, but please uh, follow us on Twitter. I would say that is uh, a great way, probably the best way. Um, tag us. We are happy to retweet, to broadcast, to um, you know, share uh, things that you're working on if you tag us. Um, we love, that's a great way I've found to learn most, uh, to easily learn about what everyone's working on in this space. We also have a blog and we invite others to reach out to us um, you know, if you have something that you want to post um, someplace and you don't have anywhere to put it, we, you know, we definitely welcome any kind of blog submissions um, if you're working on something. And then finally, uh, we, we have a newsletter um, as well. There's a sign up on that list. Um, great. I see all of these links. I hope we're able to save them all. Or I hope someone's copying them from my side. So <laughs> we're getting them. Um, uh, yeah, please sign up for our newsletter. We promise we do not spam you. Um, it only comes out maybe four times a year, um, but it's just an opportunity to share um, what others are working on in this space. And I would invite you also to take a look at a couple of the resources that we have on the website, including the um, democratic principles for an open internet, which we use as a framework uh, to really look at why you know and how we need to preserve the internet as a democratic space and particularly how it impacts democ democracy. And the other one um, being our uh, advocacy playbook, which we try to outline some strategies for when you're working on digital rights advocacy and to give some, a lot of resources and recommendations and templates um, to help uh, on that process. So. For that document in particular, we also welcome submissions and recommendations. Um, the advocacy playbook is a living document. Um, so that's um, available for comment. And we really, uh, there's contact information on the site. So please do, if you have a resource you think should be included in that, we really welcome submissions. So I think I've covered all of the uh, all of the items, but um, oh, one last plug. You know, um, we have fortunately a couple of our open internet uh, leaders here on this call today. Um, I will just say that this is an annual program we run. Um, the next round uh, will be almost here from now in June, but I did just want to flag that it's one of our um, favorite uh, programs that we work on, and really a great chance to work with the community. So if you see that. Uh, call for applications come up again next June. Uh, please think of us. Um, and it's a great chance to meet a wonderful group of people. So I think that's everything. Um, again, please leave your contact information in the chat. Um, and I guess that is everything. Anything else, Morgan or Dan or Mahir, Elizabeth, that you want to add? No other than just to echo, thank you so much for participating in this session. It's really valuable to find some ways to connect with other democracy advocates from across the globe. So really appreciate your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of IGF. Thank you so much, everyone. Great meeting you. Goodbye, have a great idea.